I mean, one thing that definitely has an effect in these wars where you can take the provincial capital and then you take the entire province is you get far fewer slaves. Because usually the main way of getting slaves is by conquering each province in turn. But without having to conquer each province, you're not taking the slaves away. Kalos of the renowned Claudian family has deigned to offer us the support of his family's vast network of contacts in a bit to better reorganize the bureaucratic system. Um, this really smells like a trap. It's a trap! So, um, pass. Also, you are no longer a family leader. We need to go and highlight the other two. So who is this going to be? This is going to be the yellows and the blues. That's you. And you. Right now, everyone's relatively happy, although Scipio is a little bit miffed. But only a little bit. So they have a couple of armies heading north to go and siege down that fort. What I'm kind of hoping I can do is take this one, and then they'll basically be trapped there. And then I can just send in the legions. Quick question. Last stream I saw you had two options to build roads. How did I get the second one? A civic I missed or a mod? Um, I can only currently build one, which is the build road. The second one is uh, military roads, and you need a technology for that. I haven't actually unlocked it yet, though. Uh, no, it's not a technology, sorry. It's an innovation. So only certain nations can do this, Rome being one of them. And it's this, Roman roads. Tradition, not innovation. Special tradition. Build military road. Wow, this fort is actually managing to hold out annoyingly long time. I might actually need to send the legion in. <sighs> Alright, send in the legions. It's leaving the auxiliaries out on their own for a bit, but so it goes. It's their fault for being so slow. Alright, now they've taken it. No, I think that this is still going to be quicker. Do I? No, I don't. Just double check you're in skirmish. You are. So I keep on putting the engineers in skirmish because if they're in the skirmish strategy, then that basically means that they will suffer 25% less casualties in battles. And the Admiral of Classis Fishy just died. So we need another one. Valera Colinius. Cornelius sounds good to me, actually. You are one of the greens, so that's going to count for... Keeping you in jobs. Uh, Behemont and Mervy, thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Oh, was he corrupt? Oh, he was. Well, we'll have to revisit that later. Okay, they are coming in to try and relieve this siege. The legions marching as quickly as they can. The cavalry came in, immediately got stack wiped. All right, so it's got 4,000 light infantry versus 1,500 light, 500 cavalry and 166 heavy infantry. Uh, we've got 20% more discipline than they do. What's their tech levels like? Three. So I have nine techno technology levels on them because we're currently miltech 12. Technology is still kind of janky in this game. I've come to this conclusion. Or else the AI is just not very good at prioritizing it. So they are bringing in reinforcements. But their morale just can't deal with the amount of sheer morale that I've got. And the Allegion will be arriving very, very soon. So even though we are currently outnumbered, here comes the Legion. Oh, nope, we actually lost. Because I killed the majority of my light infantry. But the legion is on the way. I don't think they're going to be able to escape in time. Unfortunately it did break the siege. But now we will break their armies. Stack wipe. May as well leave the uh, legion here to take over the siege. And in fact because. I don't think there was actually any. No there was time. So I'm a little surprised that we started this at a 14%. 
But so it goes. All right, we're no longer getting some of the resources into Latium, including Papyrus, which is not okay. I like having Papyrus. Let's buy in some more Papyrus. Papyrus, Papyrus. Senatorial resistant. Metius Cornelius Scipio has give, proven to be a contentious candidate as consul. Previously, an outspoken critic of the government, he was spoken of with contempt during meetings of the Senate. All were surprised, therefore, when he was elected to rule Rome, casting aside any notions of propriety and class. So it's not worth upsetting the balance just yet. We lose approval with the Popularis and the Bone. Or bring them to heel. Vague threats never hurt anyone. Um, I'll just lose a little approval. Thanks. All right, um, where you are actually, go ahead and do some unit reorganization, gain your troops back. Armenian civil war ends. The bitter civil war in Armenia has finally come to an end with the loyal forces of Ontenes Ontonanid utterly crushing the rebel armies led by Koznid Adrivzi. Cool. Now, I think there is one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the size of my sieging force. We'll make you 12 stack in terms of light infantry now. 6,000 men. A sizable quantity of tribal people resident in the settlement of Baridium have requested permission of the local administrative officers to leave. I mean, they're paying me 700 ducats? Pfft, fine. Bye! Thanks for the money! Right, let's see if there are any other grand theatres we should be building. Where are the provincial capitals? I think we've already built the majority of these that we need to. And again, maybe not. Nope, apparently we haven't. Now, however, we have. Okay, so the next thing... we should probably do is start thinking about more of the farming settlements and mines or we can start thinking about how we want to upgrade the cities starting with Rome well actually Rome's not one of the main financial institutions Tarentum is finance and I think that Brutium yeah Croton is too because this is where the Temple of Mercury is so Croton 100% well, for a start, it needs to be a bit bigger, so we'll build an aqueduct. And your portion of slaves is actually quite low. You've mostly got freemen. Um, what's the proportion of making money? So, nobles only produce research. Citizens produce manpower and research. Freemen produce tax and manpower. Tribesmen produce tax and manpower, but less levels. And then slaves produce money. It's definitely the slaves that produce the most cash. Yeah, 14 slaves produce more money than 43 citizens. So the fact that we just don't have a very slave-based economy is, is our problem. And we need a new Praetor. The Praetor eh, reduces aggressive expansion. And we also have a scorned family, which are the yellows. Although, quite frankly, we could take a job from any of the others and they wouldn't care. An aggressive expansion, not massively important for me. So, Volumus Fabius, you sound like the man for this job. No, you don't. Decius Fabius Corvinius, you have... Oh no, you have corruption, you don't. I was reading these the wrong way around. And you actually have a little bit of statesmanship, so that should do. Rome needs to buy in another good. That's going to be base metals. When we declare war on Macedonia, we're going to lose a lot of our trade. Yeah, I'm not entirely sold on the taking provinces automatically, because it really is one of the main ways of getting slaves. And if you're taking the provinces automatically, you're not getting the slaves anymore. Any great temples of Neptune? I don't think so. 
Part of the problem with the religion system is you can only really interact with the four main ones because this tab is broken. You can't actually change the relics stored inside. One of our Thrusia would be good. Hang on. That could go in the Mercury one. Freeman happiness population growth. Well, we don't actually need Freeman there. And I would like a bit more tax. Alright, so I think that Croton is going to be a tax producing place. So I think what I need to do, because this will encourage migration from other areas is build some mills, which will increase the number of slaves which should automatically move here. Yeah, currently there are only 14% slaves out of the 18 which are requested. So slaves should be moving here automatically. I think, really, the problem is I just don't have enough of them. So, with that in mind, what are my other sources of income? Trade. So in Tarentum, I've been upgrading the number of marketplaces, which increases the number of trade routes. Unfortunately, this doesn't increase the value of the trade themselves, though. It just means more routes, and it's not a very good return. Like, each of these increases the base local trade routes by 5%. When you have five trade routes, you need a lot of marketplaces to actually make that work. Pops don't migrate to meat required ratio. Slaves also migrate much slower than other pop types. Yeah, because you're supposed to do it manually, but we're of the size now where I really don't want to do that manually. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to raise a larger force of cavalry. Oh. Needs to be standing in the territory I own and control, so we'll need to move you back to there. Unfortunately, we've just lost our opportunity to take all of these. Right, let's try that again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Confirm. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out eight of those new cavalry units. And then their job is going to be to run around and take slaves. I'm just going to double check that we can't actually take them from already occupied places. I don't think we can. No. Religious advance. We have an invention. Religion, we were trying to get the population growth. Although, actually, the religion happiness and conversion could also be really useful. Oh, sac uh, that's 
sacrifice cost reduction. That would be quite useful. Oh, there's a pop growth. Um, I think what I am going to do, though, is get this, because it does have the sacrifice reduction cost. Those too poor to afford burial for their family members should be granted the convenience of state-sponsored burial service. Alright. And no, you're not conquering anything, so you just move down there and hopefully grab that. Then I guess you come over here and just stand by. And you're now strong enough. We'll have you move down there. That's true. Cruel does increase slave gathering. Huzzah! Which you are not. Which you are not. And you, I think, are just a seizure. No, you're not. We don't actually have our seizure anymore. You must have died. Right, well, we need a new commander. And there is nobody cruel till a lot further down. Light cavalry discipline could be good. Spurious Junius Pertinax. Let's bring Pertinax in as the cavalry commander. And cavalry does move quicker on the map than other units. The best generals for cruel? Frail, sarcastic, disciplined, cruel. Oh, yes. Um, how much of a difference does it make? No, it doesn't. Oh, no, it's slavement efficiency. Plus 3%. Yeah, it does. Alright. Well spotted, because he's about to move. So, let's make... Whichever is better of... Pertinax is going to take command of the cavalry. The other Pertinax is going to be in charge of you. Okay. Ho ho! Okay! Carthage is coming for us. Well, that's interesting. And my trade system has just died. You are still set on hunt fleets, so you should still be able to hunt fleets anywhere around there. Uh, we have got scorned families. Yellows. Why are the yellows suddenly showing as scorned? Probably because they took over the console ship. Uh, let's take a look. Console. Admiral. You are just not very good. You are terrible. You're a 13 zeal. Agrippa Fabius. Are you the cavalry commander by any chance? No, it's this guy. Well, let's switch you guys around. I know that this is a sidewards upgrade. Appius Cornelius is level 9. We can make you in charge of the omen power instead of the blue. I'm going to do. So we go here. And then here. 
dismiss him. Let me go here, here, bring in Fabius, and then... Oh, that counts! <laughs> because everyone only wants three positions now. Um, alright. Once we own Carthage, trade will be restored. It is just good business. You were looking for slaves, Mordred. Here are some Carthaginians. I mean, you're not wrong. Can't navies do slave hunts? No. Well, they can do port raids. Uh, harassment is countered by frontal assault, and I think the AI favours frontal assault. Close ranks would be the most effective against it. I think I want to go probing attacks. So the main defence that we're going to have against Carthage is I don't think they have a very good navy. 85 ships to my... 114. And I'm pretty confident that we have naval superiority, so let's move the ships over here. Then the next thing I'm going to need to do is sort out my frickin' trade again. A uh, bit busy, Sindrin. I'll take a look in a minute. Um, remind me again when I'm not like, oh no, I've just had a major power declare war on me. Trade. Ah, sod it. I'm distracted now. Sindrian, how did Attila make such a big empire? He built it one step at a time. Very good. A few spinning quarters. Uh, technically, this is the second. The first one is when we took Sardinia off of them. Okay, trade. They didn't take my precious metals, they didn't take my stone. Did they take? It wasn't the wine? Horses, they certainly did. I think it's actually going to be the rest of my empire rather than Rome that suffered. Now, Rome does have a lot of nobles. We have marble already, we have cloth already. Those are spices. We can get dyes, can't get silk. Then, what about citizens? Amber. Earthenware. We did lose our earthenware. Precious metals we have, glass we have. Iron. We lost our backup iron. Although actually we don't need to buy iron because we should have a double iron income and if we don't I'll move people around so that we do. Okay, we have iron. Horses? Horses are what we lost, like everywhere. Fish. We don't have just basic old fish. Well, let's get a double fish. Just to make sure our food supplies here remain high. Okay, next we are going to go to take a look at... Nation Overview, Administration, Provinces, Sort by Trade Routes. <laughs> Make sure we automate the ones which haven't been automated. We lost the stone. We did lose the stone, son of a bitch. Uh, cancel the fish. There is no stone. Bring back the fish. Thankfully, there's no penalty for cancelling trade routes. Um, what was I doing? Nation overview. Here we go. Syracuse. 
Alright, I think that now is the time where I try and work out where the hell I'm going to start making money. So, Syracuse has got some slaves. Now, the majority of my slave population is actually up in the north. The south is the more educated citizen region. And Syracuse historically was known for its citizen and research. So, let's see what citizen goods we can bring in. We can't bring in any. Well, that answered that question. What about nobles? There are actually a fair number of nobles here. Which is a little bit surprising, considering they shouldn't have any rights. Unless these are all Roman. Oh, actually they are. Well, some of them. So bring in cloth. Was I even, was this even loading for the right place? Probably. No dyes, no silk, because there never is. Incense and papyrus, none. Citizens, amber, no. Earthenware, no. Precious metals, no. Glass, yes. I don't need backup here. This is not the capital. Then wine. Yes. It's a backup. Never mind. Hemp. Leather. Dates. Base metals. This is where the flipping new overview would be so much more helpful. Wood. Don't know why I'm even looking. Horses. No. Step horses. Sure. Iron. Do it. Alright, you're done. Who's next? Brutium. Brutium is a trade hub. And in fact, this should be one of the main slave areas. So do we have any which can improve slave stuff? Not really. We can bring in food, though. Next! Campania. Campania is all-out manpower, so this is going to be Freeman, 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 and more Freeman. If I'm doubling some of this stuff up, I frankly don't care. And then food, grain you have, livestock you have, fish, you don't. Vegetables, you don't. Alright, I just want you to be big. Uh, next. Tarentum. Tarentum is all about value. So anything worth more than 0.3. Which isn't very much. At all. You can do cloth. 